Now I get my cyborg power back, and then, you know, I can be a robot. Because that's, that's what I'm working towards. Being a robot. We'll see what's down the way, and then we'll be good to go and roll and go. If only I'd already found the speed power up. <laughs> that made this actually a little bit faster. But then maybe I would have figured I could stab people. Because I know things are all relative. Make me into a robot. Alright, now I can go can get back. Yeah. Works fine for me. So we've been through that door. We've been how many powers do we have right now? We have good old seven. That actually does mean that we still have a decent fair few to go for. I've been through the black door. I have not been through the white door. I've not been through this door, so these are two doors I haven't actually been through. I'll start with... let's go you. Might as well try it. I haven't been through doors two or three yet. Huh. So I want to talk about some design things about the game as I explore this world. Um, out of all, uh, so for those who are watching this on YouTube, you, you mean you wouldn't really know the context of this, but I've been having a Yuma Nikki fan game marathon. I've been playing through a lot of Yuma Nikki fan games. Um, and this, I'm only, I'm going alphabetically, so I'm not really that far in. I'm in the A's right now. This game is called Asleep. But I played several games before this, and personally speaking, out of all of them I've played so far in this marathon, this has been my favorite. It actually is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I like it quite a bit. There's a few reasons for that. First of all, this one has more detailed worlds than any of the other ones I've been playing so far. I think it has the most interesting worlds with that. Um, and it has less wandering levels. I know I'm playing a wandering level right now. Is there a heart shape there? But it has, out of all of them, the least wandering levels by like a lawn shot, by a lawn, lawn, far shot. This area actually isn't that big, that direction. Look, this is a different door. I think it's the same door. But then the wandering levels actually aren't that big. They aren't so big, they just feel mindlessly lost in them. It's not interesting. They're interesting enough to be like, ooh, look at these pretty things. But also detailed enough so that you can sort of just form fascination for the things going on around them. And there's also very few wandering worlds. There's actually more worlds that feel more collected and feel like they have more purpose. There's interesting effects and events that go on. And I like the graphic style well enough and all that, so this so far definitely has some appreciation by me. I just thought I'd give some opinions as I'm going through it. I don't know if I'm going to get all the power-ups or anything at the moment, but I certainly can say I am very fond of this particular fan game. I'm going to sort of follow the trail. Is there anything in this world? Oh, wait, there's a gateway. I'll take it. I'll probably have to explore more of this world later. Why is there bubble creatures in this area? Now, how wide might this area be? This area is actually decently wide for how these worlds work, then yeah. I... Wait, is that different? Let me check something. I think this might be a different signpost. If it is, I'll... If it isn't... Okay, what's a different signpost? I'm not crazy. Hello, shadow creatures? Can I stab you? Yes, I can. It's fine! My glittery self is just gonna come and stab you. You're fine. You think you're gonna get away from me, but you're not. That one died differently. Hopefully that wasn't the one that was carrying a power-up or something. Well, there's a point of interest here. Might as well take it, I guess. Can't stab them. I just make a wood sound effect. Now we're in a loop here, so let's go left and I guess see whatever is there to see. Is there anything to see here? I don't know. 
I guess I'll go through this door again. So how wide is this world? Maybe there's something deeper there, but there wasn't anything I could sense to do there. You look like a thing of interest. I'll... Is this where I came from? No, what is this? Oh, wow. So, right... That looped here. Right, okay. I, I remember fully now. Why did I step on a differently sounding tile for a second? I was trying to get an idea for how big this area is. So it took forever just to loop back to that area. Let me go this way. I guess I'll go down here. I'm trying to see if there's any other point of interest to really sort of stick out in the mind. I think they should have mixed up the stepping sound effects in this area a little bit, but alas. But I'm gonna check out to see whatever there is to see. I think I looped back around there. Let's see if that's the big area which I was just in, which means I'll go a little bit more this direction. Huh. Is there no deeper area? So I wanna check out this, because this seems mighty suspicious to me that it doesn't actually lead to anything. Hmm. I know there's another creature here. I'm just gonna kinda leave this area with the shiny, I know how to get back. It's gonna be more in this general direction, and it was pretty close to where we had started off from. It's like a little bit higher into the left. Or was it lower into the left? Maybe it was lower into the left. But it was some direction and to the left. I remember that much. Where, oh, where might be the gate out of here? The only thing is, this world's kind of tall. I remember that's the thing that definitely sticks out about this world. It's a bit tall, and somehow I ended up seeing the sign gate thing when I could also see the building. How am I missing this if this is actually the case? Also, moving in certain directions, the background gets all crazy. I think I'll just use my cat power. Find my way back here elsewise. I can roll with it. So, I'm going to finish exploring this world before I go to the second door. I'm guessing there's some more things I've missed here. Let's take a solid look. I'll cross here and see if I can see anything. I think that's where I crossed through before. I'll do it again. How wide is it this direction? Relatively. Alright. I can roll with and deal with that. So I know there's another gate that will lead me somewhere. There it is right now. It's not on the sparkly thing. That's one way you can tell it apart. Is there anything else here, though? Okay, no, it's actually a pretty small area. Besides that gate, then, is there any other point of interest? It's like, for some reason, this world might be, out of all the version 1 areas, the least complete at the moment. It doesn't really seem like it's leading much to anything. Unless, of course, I'm like, missing some major detail of this world. Which could be very well the case, I, I wouldn't deny it. It's not like I'm like, oh, how you think I would miss anything? It's more just, uh, I wonder if I am, or if I'm not. I'll look around a little bit more, though, before I jump to any sort of conclusions, though. No. Alright, second door, go, go. What might you have in store for me, second door? A red world with red plants. They make techno -y sounds. It's kind of nice, actually. Eh. Blew back around. I'm just kind of gain a feel. I guess I'm going to walk through these gates. I don't think that's actually a gate, but a bit wide for the Yumaniki style gates. So this area is actually relatively tall. 
definitely something to keep in mind. I'll walk this point. I also just noticed that the background is a giant red heart. I can't believe it took me that long to actually notice that. I think I was too focused on the foreground. I didn't really notice what was going on with the background. But yep, it's just a giant red heart. It almost kind of makes me think of like a dead brush or like a clearing almost because these look like bushes to me. And they're lacking sort of details to be like a full on. It gives it a very dead forest feel. Anything of particular note? Nope. Well, a bit interesting. I guess I'll cross over this way a bit more. Any points of interest come from the brushal areas? Well, there's an area that looks like it obviously teleports you someplace. Oh. Is this gonna be my speed power up finally? Weaned shoes. That definitely sounds like it would be. Do my powers go missing? No, I'm not imagining it. We have eight powers. Yep, finally got my speed of power. Of course, through the last door I looked through, of course it'd be that. The bright side will make finding the rest of whatever is all pretty, a lot simpler at the very least. Is there nothing else here? Was the winged shoe power up the only thing I could locate in this location? There we go, I found something else. In this space, or doodly world. This is a very small world in comparison. There's another gate though. Unless Chris, they're all the same gate. That's a blue gate. That's a space gate, so they're not the same gate. Alright, then blue gate it is. Lean to even more blue gates. Lean to even more gates. Well, I've definitely ended up someplace. This is like a less looping brushal area. There's dark creatures that roam here. That's definitely notable. There's like certain ground I can and cannot walk on here. I only just notice is the part that makes me go like, oh. I'm taking a solid look around here. Don't mind me. Now I've got the ability to really walk fast. It gives me bigger possibilities of things to check out. I think I'm looping, but I don't actually know. Then again, would they really design this far this direction? I don't think so. It's definitely not looping this direction. This is either a goddamn huge ash grape field area, or there's something I'm definitely missing here. No, but I just ran into something here. I don't think that's been there every time. Let me see if I run into that again. Definitely, okay, you know, I think I actually am looping this direction. Yep, I am. So let's go a little bit higher up. See if there is anything to differentiate these areas apart. I'll go a little bit higher. Trying to spot an area of interest. It can have its own challenges, though. I definitely saw the door at the beginning. This area seems really large just to host that door that was right next to where I spawned in from. Oh, whatever. The door is right there. I'll run a little bit this way and I'll see if I run back into it. Alright, door. I'll take you. Ah. Huh. Very different type of area. I'll accept it for the moment. Let's see what sort of area this might have. It seems to be almost be like a house. And we're going up somewhere. Or we could have also gone downstairs, couldn't we? I'll go upstairs first. Only because I'm already going upstairs. But I remember there's a way to go downstairs too. 
Unless, of course, I'm now going downstairs. God dang, this is quite a twisty turvy location. Place that's open. A few places that look like they're open. I'll start with you. Oh, that's actually locked. A little bit further. Almost looks like a body just kind of hanging there. Well, let's see what this might lead to. Well, they just ran off. That looked like me when I stabbed that person. That was definitely notable. Oh, yay! Now I get to be what I've always wanted to be. Trash! I'm gonna sink back in my garbage. Well, let's continue. If one must look in different directions... I'm kind of just glancing over both ways. Where might this world lead us to? Certainly somewhere. That's the only answer I could give. It... Huh. A different type of snowy world. Looks like we're kind of above some giant structure, actually. Now, I know for a fact... Oh, you're a teleporter. I was going to say, these are like the smoky people I met earlier. Because now they're teleporting me. Now, are you just going to teleport me eternally this way? Time track with you. So, there might be a trick here, actually. Yep, there's glowing platforms. I wasn't going crazy when I saw them. So there's two forms of teleportation stuff here. Where do you lead to? Let's lead me backwards. What might you lead me to, though? It was a trick all along. Alright, this works fine for me. Where might this lead me to? Currently, we're just kind of going until we kind of want to stop going, really. I'm intrigued to continue going. I like this game thus far. Jeez, this is a dark maze. really see the pathway. I'm sure there's like a power-up that would light up my way a little bit. But yeah, yeah, I... Well, I found a way out to something. Looks like a cave I'm in right now or something. Oh, water world. What are these caution signs want to let me know? Is this the first time I've reached an area I can't bypass because it's letting me know, hey, or maybe, you know what, this would actually also explain the train track thing. Maybe this sign was supposed to signify to me that there, this pathway isn't completed right now in this version of the game. That's what that train pathway thing could have been doing to me too. It could have been like, sorry sir, this pathway is blocked. You can't actually do anything there right now. That would have made a bit of sense, actually. That also might be what that sign says, this area is not completed. Just kind of keep on going until we feel like we want to stop, really. Alright. Maybe if I had a light up power somewhere, this play area would have been a bit easier. I feel like, I think I am going across the path, but now that I'm kind of paying attention, as I go little pathway here. Like now that I am strictly looking really really closely it's super hard to see but I can see it as like a pathway here. Wow though it's super super dark and hard to see. I almost didn't see it myself. Closely to see it though.
It's like literally almost invisible. Hmm. So like a power up though. Do I have anything that seems like like could the photograph power light things up? I don't know why it would, but maybe. Maybe it'd be like a flash. I don't know. That was my my logic there for a second. Not that power up. Not you, certainly. Works well enough for me, so I'm gonna look really closely and see if I can locate any sort of pathway I haven't taken here yet. Maybe there's another area I can access from this maze that actually leads to something, I don't know. I can definitely try. And fail. But still try! Yeah, it's just a dead end that way... I'm having to look at my monitor from a very specific angle just to be able to see the path that's kind of here. Problem is a lot of them are just kind of dead ends as it were, so... I guess I'll go up this way. Let's go back a few steps. Where do you leave me to? Are you leaving me to the... let me check something. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, don't think there was much else of a point to this direction besides a garbage can. You know what, there was also the down pathway I didn't get takes. Let me try that, actually. There's a few areas I didn't get checked thoroughly. For some reason I remember this hallway. Probably because I was rushing through with my angel shoes. I kinda remember it now that I said that. Here was my garbage can power up, so I can be the trash I always wanted to be. And I think there was also a way to go downstairs in this upcoming area. I know I saw another me run past here. Okay. Play this a bit nicely. In fact, I probably should have put my shoes back on, because there's a little bit of a ways to go back. Alright, let's speed it along. If one must walk at an increased walking speed. You're closed, yep. I'm gonna try and rely on these staircases. There was a staircase thing that also led downwards from where I came from. Or is there no way to really access that? Maybe it's my... nope, can't do it. Okay. I'm just gonna kinda head backwards then. I am literally backtracking my steps here. Now where did I even pop up from? Was it this? Yes it was. You're where I came from, no? You're where I came from. Alright, then you are a different world. Still loops the same things. Leads to this red world. Space, the final frontier. Now is there anything else inside this world? Which still looks like just a bunch of bushes to me. Are you anything? Made a different sound at the very least. This is where I got the wing shoe powers, right? But maybe there's something else to all this. Maybe there's a deeper layer. Or maybe I'm fine. You know what, now I've got the speed shoe powers, I bet I can go past that one thing that was chasing me earlier. It was through this door, I think. Could've been the door to my right, actually. No, it's the one door over. Okay. Let me go through here, speed and through. I 
I know there's a chaser here, but I should be a lot faster than that now. So I can definitely outmaneuver it. Now this stood out last time. It's leading. Yeah, there you go. I knew there was something there. Oh, there's already just an effect here. What was it? Um... Is it bad I'm not seeing it? Short hair. Why do I sort of fade out when I use it? Item... Back to my winged shoes. Is there anything else here? Besides my stalker... And this area. <clears throat> well, this should lead back here. I don't really know if I should go back here. Actually, I don't remember exactly what was here. I guess I'll check it out because I'm here. I do remember like almost every door was locked outside of this one. Which led to the hand world, right? I found the head here and there was a candle. I remember. I'm starting to remember a bit better now. Like, can I go through here? Definitely looked like I could. But alas, negatory. There's the candle. And this leads to a blue candle. Is this where I got to the train from? I think it was. Let me try the other train exit, okay? Because I think there was two train exits, and I went to one. Might as well try, because I'm in the neighborhood. Is might as well, because we can. I might be almost done playing what I'm going to play of a sleep right now, but I will definitely say that out of the fan games, I like this one quite a bit, actually. I think it's well made. There's some well-executed elements. There are some areas, obviously, I could be a bit better in, but it was interesting. I enjoyed playing it. I like some of the darker elements and all that, and I'm going to play a little bit more, but I feel like I'm almost at the end of my route of playing this there, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's ride the train. Oh, now I can move on the train a bit. See, there's a second door for some reason. I'm going to try it. Will it lead to the same area or a different... No, it leads to a different area, so it was good that I came back. That was a weird music thing. Interesting. Well, down the road we go. Where might we stop? Probably somewhere over to the left, actually. Oh, we enter into a beach area. At least made me think of a beach immediately. A lot of boards. I don't think this area is looping either, so I'm sort of checking more systematically like this. Are you for anything? Oh, of course you are. Hmm. I just read it out. <laughs> read it out. Oh. Giggle? What just happened? Oh. I got back, but it's not exactly back. It definitely looks a bit different. Hmm. Let's try and interact with things, see if I can find a way out. Happy and just zap myself back. You think going back to one of the places will have a different effect on me? I'm gonna give it a shot. Hmm. We'll go back. Now then. My footsteps are missing. That might be notable. I guess we're going back to the train is what we're doing? I can't go back to the train. Maybe I found a dead end. Hmm. This might be the end of our road. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna wake myself up in this particular instance. I 
you notice that what happens there. We still got the great bane on our door. I'm gonna save here. Well, we collected ten or so powers. I'll say, I've enjoyed this little game. Didn't make me sleepy at all. Now let's hang ourselves again. This has been Dusk and like as the gamer. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Adieu. Of course. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, where I'm trying to turn this into a livelihood for missed game videos, different higher quality video series for the channel, and my own little games to make from time to time. You can learn more about all of this at the link, which you'll also find in the description below. If you'd like to watch me record my game videos, take part in development streams, or just interact some, I stream quite regularly at my hitbox.tv channel and it's where I record all my gameplay for my Let's Plays. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and until next time, adieu.